Brachiopods are phylum of marine organisms that inhabit depths ranging from shallow waters to around 3 miles deep and can be found in both tropical and polar temperature schemes. Where they are located within these ranges is determined by the group within the phylum. Brachiopods are subdivided into the groups Inarticulata and Articulata. Inarticulata possess two valves without articulating hinges and do not have teeth or sockets. This group tends to burrow in the sand of the ocean floor. Articulata possess two valves with articulating hinge and they have teeth and sockets. They tend to be found in rocky outcroppings where they are attached by a pedicle. In general, brachiopods are protosomes that begin their life as a planktonic larvae. The length of the stage varies between two to three days in articulata and a couple of months in inarticulata. After this, they become sessile in their adult form, where they live for 3 to 30 years. The majority of species reproduce sexually, however there are a few that are hermaphroditic. Brachiopods have transient gonads and their gametes are released through the nephridia for external fertilization. The brachiopods are a member of the lophophorates due to their unique feeding structure, the lophophore, which filters minute organisms or organic particles from the seawater via ciliated tentacles. This phylum has no economic advantage or disadvantage to humans. However, they are useful for research and study. An interesting fact about this phyla is that in Asia, the pedicle is considered a delicacy. Species of this taxa have been noted as early as the Cambrian period, although many of these species are now extinct. They are thought to be derived from one of several lower Cambrian species, including the Talmotids, and were thought to possess a phosphatic or agglutinated skeleton, or were soft-bodied. The majority of the species of this taxa are extinct, so it is hard to discern the relationships between the extant and extinct species for proper placement in the phylogeny. Consensus recently suggests that brachiopods and foronids form a clade related either to mollusks or annelids. Recent studies also suggest that they may be related more closely to bryozoa and foronids. In our 16S rRNA tree, the phylum Brachiopoda is a sister taxa to Mollusca. In our morphological tree, the Brachiopods are a sister taxa with Annelida, Echinodermata, Mollusca, Anthropoda, and Chordata. This parallels our literature, which suggested that the Brachiopods would be closely related to the phylum Mollusca, which was a sister taxa in both trees. Additionally, the morphological tree showed Brachiopods to be a sister taxa to Annelida, which was mentioned in our literature. The differences between our morphological tree and the tree that we found in literature relates to the concepts of synapomorphy and homoplasy. In general, a tree developed from morphological characteristics does not account for the possibility of analogous traits which would lead to a less accurate phylogeny. For example, in our matrix, we classified the phyla using appendages, a broad category in which there are multiple examples of homoplasy. Due to the great variety of structures that can be considered appendages, we generalized our code to only reflect the presence or absence rather than the division based on the distinct anatomical minutia. Additionally, in the category of respiration, we did not consider the presence of alternate structures like the swim bladder that relate phyla together more closely.